All right, guys. So, quick update on the latest uh, Xiaomi router. Uh, after a couple weeks of testing, uh, I can say a few pros and few cons. You know what I like and what I didn't I like that much about this router. Um, let me start from uh, from the beginning. Uh, first of all, it's super light, um, super mobile. When you think of it, you can place it pretty much anywhere. Uh, you can even, uh, you know, probably prop it against the wall or something. Um, antennas are pretty long um, and supposedly have a good coverage but you know, to be honest with uh, compared to a few other routers I have uh, the coverage was about the same I didn't see any big advantage or disadvantage uh, so really cannot say um, any negative or, or big positive about it um, again very small and compact that's a plus for me you can place it anywhere uh, only one little blue um, LED indicator in the front so no intrusive you can put it in a bedroom it's not going to be lighting up the whole room like some of my other ones I have um, also not producing a lot of heat uh, I mean obviously it has only 580 me megahertz uh, MediaTek processor uh, 128 megabytes of RAM uh, you know it's not gigahertz or not dual core or any of that um, you know modern uh, day processors that are in a more expensive um, Routers, uh, it's AC1200. Uh, in my humble opinion, the speed is pretty significant, uh, especially considering the price. You know, the number one uh, pro for this one is the price. Obviously, uh, you know, paying thirty dollars or up to you know probably some sites forty between thirty and forty dollars. It's it's a great price considering that you know some uh, more expensive uh, routers. You know, for example, I have a TP-Link one that is supposed to be uh, you know one of the latest models. Uh, still at the same time cost nearly $200 um, so big big difference uh, and yeah I mean number one price obviously uh, then what else uh, the software it's it's pretty good already received one update um, you know uh, I'm gonna go back to it in the negatives as well mention a few things but uh, the web service is pretty good there is an app for your phone you can control majority of the functions and have like add-ons and do other things uh, which is great in my humble opinion I had no problems with the app and the app is in English so for those of you that are struggling with the web uh, interface or don't have Google Chrome that tran translates it uh, because it's in Chinese uh, you can always install the app and they will be uh, good to go um, you see that I have a USB sticking out in the back uh, obviously this is uh, like I mentioned in the beginning, USB 2 only, unfortunately, that's one of the negatives, but still there's a USB that you can uh, share uh, files over the network and even access them over the internet if you set it up properly. Uh, good addition, I absolutely love having this on, on all my routers. Um, it kind of omits the need of having a NAS. Um, obviously a little bit more um, limited than NAS but at the same time very functional uh, the other two negative uh, the other one negative for me is uh, the only two uh, LAN uh, ports and uh, kind of connected to that is they're not gigabit they're only 100 uh, megabits so if, if for those of you that are really having a super speed uh, want to have a super speed home network with uh, cat6 or cat5e cables uh, um, you, you're going to be a little bit disappointed but if you're planning to stream only videos uh, let's say up to 1080p uh, i don't think you will have any problems i tried uh, with me worked out with no problem whatsoever um, the only thing is you know just consider if you have a lot of computers that you want to hook up with lan get a get a nice cheap uh, uh, switch uh, again TP-Link has some gigabit switches or in this particular case you don't even need a gigabit switch for about ten dollars on Amazon so uh, that problem can be solved really fast uh, unfortunately there will be another device you gotta turn on and you know play somewhere but hey it is what it is again the price is thirty dollars here um, again very well ventilated in the bottom no overheating issues no problem whatsoever in my humble opinion after a couple weeks of testing um, Connection was stable, no drops, no uh, you know overheating or anything like that. Like I mentioned, you can set up even through the app uh, time when you want the, the router to go to sleep or to go to reboot itself. All that is configurable. Um, 
and uh, yeah, I think I think it's a good buy. I mean, especially for thirty dollars, you cannot go wrong with that. Uh, another negative, kind of small for me, is uh, is uh, the included um, power brick. The power brick itself is very good, but the cable is super short. You know, it's probably uh, three feet long, no more. So if you're planning to put it somewhere, uh, you know, far away from the outlet, uh, you will have to use an extension cord. So this is a little bit negative, uh, tiny small negative as well, there's no LAN cable included whatsoever in the packaging, so if you don't have one, um, probably should buy one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, other than that I'm pretty pleased with this router, I think uh, it's, it's definitely a keeper, I'm gonna use it in my home network, um, and uh, you know, hopefully very soon uh, Xiaomi or, or the communities that are working with Xiaomi will create uh, uh, a good uh, English uh, BROM for uh, firmware so we won't have to use you know Google Chrome to in order for us to uh, go through the menus um, some of the older models of Xiaomi I know they have English already built in so you can select it from the menus but this one does not unfortunately for the moment um, so again Google Chrome is your friend use the automatic translation something sound and you know might sound goofy to you but at least you can kinda make yourself aware what's uh, what's the menu for and do some settings other than that use the app um, it's always a good option file transfer is pretty fast about uh, 10 megabytes up to 11 12 megabytes uh, you know average um, per second of course when you move large files uh, I think uh, Again, pretty significant if you want to stream 1080p movies over your network or do some other basic stuff. Uh, but uh, yes, uh, for the final, I can say, in my humble opinion, this is a great uh, little router uh, for those of you that uh, don't want to spend a lot of money or you're on the budget, you're uh, like me, and you, you know, spending 100 or 200 dollars for a router is kind of a hard, although I have done it, uh, or uh, a relative, uh, somebody that has older router, uh, wireless G or wireless N, that you want to get them upgraded to AC speeds, um, again for a very reasonable price, $30, $35, whatever you can uh, find it. This one, of course, I got, grabbed from GearBest for $30. Go ahead and grab it. Uh, I think very soon there will be an English menu, so even if you don't use um, the app or you don't use the Google Chrome, you will be able to uh, navigate around the web service the web interface and you'll be good to go that's about it guys um, yeah again great router hit the thumbs up if you like the video stay tuned to the channel there'll be more to come very soon and as always guys you have a wonderful day